Here's my preview of the Baylor versus Kansas men's basketball game tomorrow. First of all, I don't know the rankings where they'll be, but it doesn't really matter. I anticipate this being a top 25 showdown, but I would be shocked if Kansas will not be ranked because, you know, back-to-back -back losses. Now, some players to keep an eye on, like Jalen Wilson, number 10, 6 foot 8 inch, 225 pound forward, that's a junior, 21.3 points per game. 42 for 125 on threes, 88 for 113 on free throws, 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, 2.5 assists per game, 2.2 turnovers per game, 0.8 steals per game, 0.6 blocks per game, 1.8 fouls per game. Grady Dick, number four, six foot eight inch, 205 pound guard, that's a freshman, 14.4 points per game, 50 for 114 on threes, 37 for 46 on free throws, 5.3 rebounds per game, 1.1 turnovers per game, 1.1, I mean 1.6 steals per game, 2.1 fouls per game. KJ Adams, number 24, six foot seven inch, 225 pound forward, that's a sophomore, 10.7 points per game, 0 for 1 on threes, 35 for 459 on free throws. So he's a hack a shot guy if you have to. So it seems. 4.5 rebounds per game, two assists per game, 1.7 turnovers per game, one steal per game, one block per game, 3.2 fouls per game. Kevin McCuller, he's a transfer from Texas Tech. Number 15, six foot six inch, 210 pound guard, that's a senior. 10.2 points per game, 18 for 59 on threes, 31 for 41 on free throws, 7 rebounds per game, 2.5 steals per game, 0.6 blocks per game, 2.4 turnovers per game, 2.7 fouls per game. Dejon Harris Jr., number 3, 6 foot 1 inch, 175 pound guard, that's a junior, 7.4 points per game, 15 for 35 on threes. He's more of a slasher, but he can hit threes, but he's more of a penetrator and distributor 16 for for 22 on free throws 2.4 rebounds per game 6.6 6 6.6 6 assists per game two turnovers per game two steals per game 1.8 fouls per game joseph yeset fu number one six foot 108 pound guard that's a junior 3.6 points per game 11 for 36 on threes four for six on free throws 0.6 turns per game 0.9 fouls per game well, MJ Rice is questionable with a back injury. I'm not sure he's going to play or not, but he's missed the last seven games or so. Or something like that. Number 11. Or seven games all year for sure. Six for five inch, 215 pound guard. That's a freshman. 3.6 points per game. Two for 12 on threes. Eight for 12 on free throws. 1.4 fouls per game. Bobby Pettiford Jr., number zero, six foot one inch, 109 pound guard, that's a sophomore. 3.2 points per game, two for five on threes, four for six on free throws, 2.1 assists per game, 1.2 turns per game, one foul per game. Ernest Uday Jr., number 23, six foot 11 inch, 250 pound center, that's a freshman. Two points per game, no threes attempted, four for eight on free throws, and one foul per game. Well, they do have other guys on this list, which I'm going to go ahead and mention, but I'm not going to mention like a zero points per game or below, for sure. Questionable with the back injury, Cam Martin, he's only played four games all year. Number 31, six foot nine inch, 230 pound forward, that's a senior, 1.8 points per game, one for one on threes, no free throws attempted. Michael Jankovic. Number 20, 6 for 5 inch, 109 pound guard, that's a senior, 1.6 points per game, 3 for 4 on threes. No free throws attempted. Zuby, at Elysio for number 35, 6 foot 9 inch, 240 pound forward, that's a freshman, 1.3 points per game. 4 for 8 on free throws, 0.6 turnovers per game, 0.7 blocks per game, 0.8 fouls per game. Zach Clements. Number 21, 6 foot 10 inch, 230 pound forward, that's a sophomore, 1.2 points per game, 2 for 12 on threes, 2 for 5 on free throws, 0.8 fouls per game. I'll put the stats in the description below, but I can promise you this. Kansas is going to be very, very motivated because they lost by 23 points to TCU at home. And they don't hardly lose at home, let alone back-to-back -back games. They lost to Kansas State by one point. So... I'm going to say this across the board. you got to bring your energy and your A game in this game. I mean, a foul trouble is going to have to be limited as much as possible. That's across the board. And execute your, your offense and your defense. Now, defensively, I would say 
contain the shooters. You don't want Grady Dick to go off, for sure. He's one of the better shooters on the team. And Jalen Wilson, he's had great games, but Kansas has not won. So, it's going to be a challenge with him to contain him some. And saying, but at least it's not like the typical Kansas teams in the past. The best big guys are like six foot ten or six foot eleven or seven feet tall. Mm mm. They're not. They're not that tall. I mean, six foot eight, six foot seven. I mean, obviously you gotta rebound the ball pretty good. You gotta limit the offensive rebounds, limit the second chance points, fast break points, which you don't. You allowed ten of those last game, and while you scored no, nothing. Of course points of turnovers as well you gotta get back on defense for transition contain the shooters and and contain the slashers as well and rebound the ball of course offensively you got to take care of the ball and get more assists than last game you only had six that has to go up first of all that has to second like I said take care of the ball you gotta be crisp with the ball and even if you think the ball is gonna go out of bounds Hustle for the ball. I mean, that happened last game with Keontae George. He thought it was going to go out of bounds, so he just did nothing to it. But the Oklahoma guy took it and got a dunk or got a layup. He got, I mean, you got to get some fast break points in this game because you had none last game. That's probably going to be emphasized. You got to get some second chance points, points in the paint. Of course, defensively limit the points in the paint, too. But, you know, I would also say that you need to penetrate the paint and and kick it out if for open threes because you don't want to just jack up threes to jack up threes. Shot selection is key and make Kansas uncomfortable on offense too. Make them fade away on shots that they're not used to fading away on. And don't foul a jump shooter. And you, you did a pretty good job last few games here with the foul trouble. So I like that. And it would be huge if of course, you gotta make some more threes in this game. Like in the second half, you made much better on three, six for twelve. It's just that first half was a doozy. Didn't play your best, but you still won the game. And make your free throws count. And of course, that's important as well. It would be huge if Keontae George has a better game than last game. I expect him to be better than last game. He missed four free throws and he had an off game. Same thing goes for L.J. Cryer in terms of shooting. L Adam Flagler needs to step up in this game to me. Jalen Bridges. He's been more consistent as of recently. And he's making those threes that he missed early on in the year. Now he's hitting them. That's another weapon. Flo Thamba needs to be a factor on both ends of the floor. And same thing goes for Jalen Bridges. I forgot to mention the defense. Like across the board, I mean, that needs to be solid as a rock. Del Bonner, if he gets to play, which he did play actually last game. He was just like the, one of the last guys in the rotation. He needs to step up on defense and ball handling. Same thing goes for Langston Love. He, I hope he could get better output scoring the ball eventually, but I think he just is in a little freshman funk. This is his first Big 12 go-around, remember, because last year... He didn't play due to ACL tear. He needs to step up in this game, at least on a defensive end, and rebound. Same thing go Caleb Lohner. I know he didn't score last game, but he was a rebounding machine. That's what we need him to be, besides a defensive guy. And if he could score, like on dunks and layups, that would be huge. Josh Ojuwuna needs to step up too, because you you know John is not Jonathan Chama Chach was not probably going to play all this year, but I'm just saying, more likely than not for John. John, now for Josh, he needs to step up on rebounding and scoring the ball because he's more of an offensive threat to me than Flo Thamba is. Though Flo Thamba recently has been making his free throws count, and that's good because. Yeah, it's good to have a reliable guy that sh makes free throws. I mean, and Josh needs to step up on the defensive end. I know he's getting better at it because more time playing 
within the system and more time playing in general because you gotta keep in mind he's been playing basketball for less than the last four year four or five years here. And I know Kansas is going to be very extremely motivated. I trust me. Last time they got beat down like that at home was last year against Kentucky and they bounced back big time. You just don't allow them to go off offensively and make Bill Self use his timeouts. Seriously. And get on scoring runs unlike last game too. And I mean, you got to do a lot better job in points in the paint compared to last game. The second chance points really stepped up for us, which we need that to continue here. Because you got 30 of those last game. 30. That's pretty good. So, that's just an overlook on this game. And come on out, Baylor Nation, to this game on tomorrow night at 8 p.m. It's a big game and it's a big Monday game. You could be a part of the factor in this game too in a positive way by being loud on defense within reason, of course, and showing support for these guys because they fought hard from 0-3 starting in the Big 12 to now four straight. It's time to protect home court, Baylor Nation. Come on out. And if you can't go to the game for whatever reason, give it to a Baylor fan. Seriously, don't give it to the enemy here. And same thing goes for, but if you're sick, that's different. If you, I mean, just still give it away anyway. Or you have plans, you can't go. Give it to a Baylor fan anyway. Because home court advantage does help in games like this. Trust me. I've been a part of them. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. It's going to be five subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.